let's go book shopping. I am gonna go on a little late night Barnes and Noble trip, but I kind of have an actual mission for this trip like I have a goal and that is to get one book in particular I might like peruse around a little bit and like potentially pick up something else but I'm really on the lookout for Stalking Jack the Ripper by Carrie Maniscalco in the original cover because I don't know if you guys know this but they're phasing out the old covers right now Stalking Jack the Ripper the first book in the series has a new cover and I like the original covers like they are not actually the most visually pleasing book covers but i think they i feel like they fit the vibe of what i expect the series to be like so i i want those covers like i want those covers i've been interested in reading the books for a while so i want to do a cute little late night barnes and noble run the thing is they actually might not have the cover i want so i I have a few Barnes and Nobles near me that I could check. So hopefully somehow there's one hiding somewhere, but I, I might not find it. And that's actually a little upsetting. So otherwise I don't really have anything in mind. I'm kind of just gonna keep an eye out and think about some other books that I could vibe with, but let's go. I've got a little, I've got some clothes on. Not nothing that special, <laughs> but yes, let's get into it and let's shop. Okay, I just finished at the second Barnes and Noble and the trip was technically successful, but okay, why are we speeding down this parking garage? The Barnes and Noble Cafe, they do like a monthly book where if you purchase anything from the cafe, you'll get the book for $5. And I forgot, I actually knew this, Stocking Jack the Ripper is the Barnes and Noble book of the month for the cafe. That's how I saw the new cover initially because I went to Barnes and Noble with my friend. So as I was like going to check out and buy Stocking Jack the Ripper, the girl who was checking me out, she was like, hey, little tip. If you buy something at the cafe, you can get this book for $5. So I was like, that's right. I didn't think about it because I like it's the new cover. Like I just didn't think about it. But I went to go to the cafe and they closed at 8 and it was literally 8.01. And I was at that Barnes & Noble for like 40 minutes and I feel really stupid. So I left the book and I had a couple other books I was thinking about getting, but I just like, I left my stuff and I'm gonna go back tomorrow and I'm gonna go to the cafe, get a little, I don't know, get probably potentially like their cheapest thing and get the book for $5 because why would I not take that deal? Like the book is $13, $5 is such a good deal.
Hey, you guys. So this night ended up very differently than I was expecting. The turn of events were not what I was expecting, what I planned. My hair's doing some weird things right now, but I ended up with a cute little three book haul. I went in for mainly one book, came out with three, and I got the one book that I wanted. Like I found the cover, I knew I was going to. Like I knew I was going to. I just was very discouraged because the Barnes and Noble app and the Barnes and Noble like websites were saying not in stock in store for any of the Barnes and Nobles near me for this cover. So I was like, what the freak? How did they phase out of this cover already? But I'm so glad I found it. I'm so excited to get into it. I did end up getting it at the cafe. I went to another Barnes and Noble on my way home. I figured, so I saw at the first Barnes and Noble, the one that not the first Barnes and Noble, but the main Barnes and Noble that I went to where the worker told me that this is the cafe book of the month and that I could get it for $5. When I was there, I remember seeing a sign that literally said cafe closes at eight today, which means that it usually doesn't close at eight and it usually closes at the same time as the store. So on my way home, I was like, should I go to the other Barnes and Noble near me and see if they have it and see if their cafe is still open? I was on a mission. I was on that mission. I was stomping my little feet across the Barnes and Noble to the YA section and I found the one copy and I marched my little feet over to the cafe and I was like, are you guys still open? And he was like, uh, yeah. And I bought a granola bar and the book. So I'm kind of counting the money for the granola bar into the total for this. Total, I spent $7.59, including tax and the granola on this book, literally like almost like half of the actual price. I got the book that I was looking for. I didn't give you any synopsis, but this is about a teenage girl. She wants to do like autopsies. And she's kind of like apprenticing for her uncle who does them and disguising herself as a boy to attend his classes and learn about them. But they're both going behind the back of her father. There's another guy in her class who, you know, starts talking to her and it also works with her uncle on some things. And then there are gonna be murders. That's what I know. Jack the Ripper is gonna do his thing and kill some people. But I got the book that I went looking for and I'm so excited to get into this. But let's talk about the other two books I ended up getting. So the first one I showed and that's Anatomy, A Love Story. I've heard about this book. I feel like I've just seen the cover a lot and I'm interested in this because it's also kind of the same, or like very similar setting as Stalking Jack the Ripper. So I felt like I could be totally down for that kind of setting as well. She wants to become a surgeon. The main character wants to become a surgeon and she's a woman in like, I think it's like 1817. It's 1817, so she's a woman, so she like cannot become a surgeon. She meets this guy who works at cemetery, works in like grave sites, or I don't know if he works in them, but his work does involve them where he digs up dead bodies and sells the bodies to people. So he steals dead bodies and then he ends up selling them to her so she could practice on the cadavers to learn how to become a surgeon and learn how to like perform surgeries and a romance I believe happens between the two of them. There's a little bit of like a mystery element in here as well, but I'm, I don't know, I'm just down for these vibes, like more of this setting, but I wasn't sure if I was gonna buy it actually. I hadn't intended to at that first Barnes and Noble or that other Barnes and Noble that I was in, but I was also interested in another little book that I picked up called The Bodyguard by Catherine Center. This is a romance and I've been hearing so many good things about Catherine Center recently and I've been very interested in diving into her books and her stories because well, I think I've heard people compare her to Emily Henry or the way she's been described has sounded similar to Emily Henry, but also just like more so described in a way that I would enjoy because she does write romances, but she writes like more literary fiction romances where there's like, there are so many deeper levels to her stories and to the characters growth and I just like really enjoyed those kinds of romances and I feel like this could be right up my alley of like the types of romances that I like. I did start reading a little bit while I was in Barnes and Noble. I read a few pages and I was absolutely entranced. <laughs> I was really interested to see what was gonna happen but I also felt very immediately drawn to the story and connected to what was gonna be happening or what the main character's journey would look like. So I didn't really get into what the meat of the story is yet but what I know about the story is that she, the main female character, is gonna become the bodyguard of this, I don't know what he is, I don't know what he is, but he's some kind of famous guy. So yeah, she becomes his bodyguard when he's going home. Okay, yeah, so it sounds like he goes home because his mom gets sick 
and while he's there he needs someone to like be his bodyguard to protect him from paparazzi and a stalker that he has so she's like his bodyguard but he doesn't want his family to know he has a bodyguard so she's pretending to be his girlfriend I love that and she's going through some things because her mom just recently passed and I literally kind of just want to get into this like right now but the thing is when I went to the other Barnes & Noble these two books had the 50% off or buy one get one 50% off stickers so I got all three of these books for like $31 and the original price would have been like $45. And I'm literally so excited. I'm so happy. I did not need to get more books right now. Oh, Felix, you want to join and talk about my books? Anyway, yes, I did not need to get more books right now. Like it was not necessary, but you know, it was kind of just, it was just kind of meant to be that I could get all of these books for the prices that I got them. I had so much fun tonight getting these books. I'm so glad you guys were here with me for this little journey that I went on. I hope you enjoyed it as well. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.